Hi there, Libran. Thanks so much for tuning in. I'm Astro Girl, and we're looking at April 4 through April 10. And there's a lot happening this week. We had a quiet week last week, but we're making up for it this week. Get ready for a rather bumpy ride, Librans, because the celestial lineup for this week includes two planets entering new signs on the same day, which is Wednesday. A supermoon and the sun making once a year connections to three different planets. Tuesday, April 5 is both busy and exciting because the sun in Aries, your opposite sign, and Saturn in Sagittarius offer the gift of an inspiring fire trine. And then Venus and Mercury, the two personal planets, day-to-day -day planets, both switch signs. When Venus exchanges Pisces for fiery Aries, it points love and finances in a whole new direction. But unfortunately, Venus is not at its ever-loving best in Aries because Aries, of course, this is a sign of me first. It's the first sign in the zodiac. Venus, which is your ruler, is the happiest in Pisces, Taurus, and your sign. Aries, not so much. However, this is not necessarily such a bad thing because if you are always the giver in relationships, Librans, the next four weeks can be a time for you to learn how to take your fair share and be a taker rather than a giver. Mercury, the communicator, is on its way out of Aries on the same day, Tuesday, that Venus heads into this sign. Because Taurus is a slow earthbound energy, when Mercury is vis visiting this sign, the style of communication becomes more measured and considered. You might as well get used to this communication slowdown because this year the Mercury Taurus duo will be hanging around much longer than usual. Mercury is on schedule to turn retrograde later this month, extending its usual three week tour in Taurus to a nine week extravaganza that lasts until the middle of June. On Wednesday, April 6th, the, the sun makes a square to Pluto, opening up past conflicts yet again. But the tide will turn April 7 with the arrival of the Aries new moon. Be sure to circle this date on your calendar, Librans, because this new moon, April 7, carries the best energy of the year to initiate any kind of project over the next two weeks before Mercury turns uh, retrograde or goes out of phase. On Saturday, April 9, fiery Aries, Sun, and unpredictable Uranus, which is also in Aries, meet for their annual conference call, which can result in a game-changing plan. Between sign changes, Sun connections, and the new moon, this week is a time when the window of possibilities is open wide so don't hesitate to grab an opportunity if you can if you see it or feel it or know that it's right around the cosmic corner Librans. as I said with Mercury going out of phase on the 28th we actually don't have that much time two weeks to be exact so you know really get organized this week and next week have a great week great speaking to you do something special on the 7th with that new moon and I'll speak to you again next week.